Let's see how we can use Desmos to help us with some common probability calculations. So let's go to Desmos and open the graphing calculator. Let's see how to calculate factorials. So if I have a number which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, I can calculate that by entering 4 and an exclamation point and Desmos will do my math for me. So you're going to use factorials a lot and this is the easiest way to calculate them if you don't have a calculator that does them. Another example, if I wanted to know 15 factorial, it would give me that large number. Okay, the next thing we need to understand how to do, okay, the next thing we want to understand is how to do permutations and combinations. And you are going to have to go to your functions and choose stats. And these are the two functions we're going to need for these. And this will calculate permutations for you. So if I want to know the number of ways I can choose five items from a list of 10 items, I would enter this. So if I have 10 items and I want to choose five items as many different ways as possible, um, where order is important, this is the function I use. If I have want to know the number of ways I can choose two items from a grouping of five, this is how I do it. So, and we use permutations when the order of the um, groupings are important. So like for combinations of locks, it's not enough to know what numbers are in the oh, bucket. Let's look at how we can use Desmos to help us with some common probability calculations. One of the things you're going to need to know is how to calculate factorials. And a factorial is if I have a number, say 5, and I want to know 5 factorial, that's equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And uh, this is the mathematical notation for that. So 5 exclamation point means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And Desmos will calculate that for us. It can get kind of um, involved with bigger numbers. Something like 3 factorial, that's easy. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Okay, in addition to factorials, we need to know how to calculate permutations and combinations. And those you can access through the functions menu. And you'll need to go to stats. And these are the two functions we're going to work with. So a permutation is the number of ways you can choose uh, a grouping of items from a larger group. So if I have five items and I want to know how many different ways I can choose a pair of two, oops. I'm going to use this function. It will tell me there's 20 ways I can do that. So if I have a group of 10 items and I want to know how many groupings of four I can choose, that would be how I would calculate it. And permutations are used when the order is important. So if I need each item in a specific order, I use a permutation, and this is the formula I use. The last calculation you want to be able to do is combinations. And combinations are similar to permutations, but in um, combinations, you don't care about the order. So if you choose the list 1, 2, 3, it's exactly the same as 3, 2, 1 for the purposes of a combination. So if I have uh, five, five items, and I want to know how many groups of two I can choose and order isn't important, that's how it's going to calculate it for me. So 
If you don't have a calculator that does factorials, permutations, and combinations, you can always come to Desmos and use these built-in functions.